Hey all, Will Healy here. I've got a story for you. Late one night, two guys were working really late on a hydraulics project. Cylinder was behind on his deliverables and his colleague Pump wanted to go home. He got so frustrated and yelled, just get it done. To which Cylinder replied, hey man, stop pressuring me. Ah, uh, dad joke Friday for you. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna do an automation basics today. Today we're gonna talk about hydraulic cylinders. And this thing is really heavy, so stick with me. A hydraulic cylinder, uh, the simplest hydraulic cylinder has one piston, right? And uh, inside of a high pressure chamber. Fluid or oil enters uh, one side and that extends the rod. And then if we add fluid to the other side, it retracts the rod. And so we use that a lot in automation to create motion. Uh, there are two types of sensors that can be used with a hydraulic cylinder. The first is a high pressure inductive proximity sensor, and it can be used to detect end of stroke. And it looks for the cushioning bush here at the end of the piston. So you can see this, the sensor gets mounted right inside there and it looks for that bush uh, when it's there. So it gets the end of stroke. The other type of sensor that can be used is what's called a continuous, uh, a linear position sensor, magnetostrictive uh, or magnetic sensor. And this magnet is mounted on the piston. And as the magnet moves back and forth on the rod of the sensor, which is actually inside the cylinder, uh, it can be used to provide continuous position monitoring. And so the cylinders, the hydraulic cylinders, can be ordered, gun drilled on the end, so that the sensor threads into there, and then uh, the magnet moves back and forth with the piston. I mean, components like these are, are special sensors for hydraulic systems. You know, they're, they're designed to be exposed to pressures like uh, 7,000, uh, 14,000 PSI, and like 120 degrees C. Um, and, and we use this to do closed loop on the system. So when we put fluid into the system, we're moving the cylinder and we can actually provide specific feedback about where that rod is and how it's applied in the, in the application. So we can use that to control valves, like a open close on a butterfly valve with uh, either continuous with a, with a magnetic uh, uh, linear position sensor or a, a discrete on off inductive proximity sensor looking for the cushioning bush. So I'll make sure there's some great links uh, to some blogs down in the, the comments. Until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next?